So, where are we going today, Mr. Boo? Today we're going to... Tension Mount, La Pongeoire, La Blast, La Brock. Hi, welcome back to me and Mon Ami. And today we're on another one of our mountain village challenges because we are headed to the wonderful medieval village of La Brock. So today's journey is a 70 kilometer round trip. Remember the uh, outer edges of our range are 75 kilometers. So we're gonna have to get a charge when we're there, fingers crossed. And it takes us 3,300 feet above sea level. It's a journey that takes us right along the Var Valley, then over the River Var, and then finally the spectacular climb up to Le Brock itself. It's an absolutely glorious autumn day here. Completely blue skies, it's crisp, it's fresh, the roads are clear. Well, sit back and enjoy the ride. I love Nice is still missing, but apparently it's been taken away for cleaning. It hasn't blown into the sea, fear not. Do you see if the pedals have returned to the beach, Mr. Boo? Can't really see, I think so. I don't know. You see, there's been a, been a big drama this week. And well, you know, by knee stamp, it's big. That the, uh, the famous and really uncomfortable pebbles on the beach here, on the Bay des Anges, disappeared and were replaced with sand because the storm brought in all this sand. Sadly, I don't think it'll last, but uh, for a while, the Bay des Anges was a sandy beach. Mr. Boo, it's the Citroen garage where we'll be bringing our um, Elton next week for his two-year, 10,000-kilometer service. And uh, hopefully we're going to smuggle a camera to it and uh, take you along and see what kind of condition he's in, aren't we? Mm. After, after two years of uh, maltreatment. Chamander Fair, look at the old uh, mini train that goes up into the mountains you can see just over there. It's a great journey if you get a chance to do it. It's a very strange train, isn't it? It's a very strange train. It's like they... an 80s bus. It is, but they do like themed trips and trips with commentary on certain days. Mm. And a theme version, don't they? Yep. In, in on Sundays, uh, not all year, but uh, I think up to about November the 5th. We should do it sometime. Yeah. We could race the train. I feel like we're racing the train now. They're going to have to stop soon. Uh, there it is. We're, we're beating them, we're beating them. Do you know, in days of yore, Mr. Boo, in the, in the golden age of the blue tram coming down to the south of France, a lot of the top car brands used to race. They'd put somebody in a, a Bentley or something like that, and they'd race the blue tram as a publicity stunt to see who could get back uh, to London or, or from London down to the south of France quickest. Became awesome. a big thing, yeah. Top historical fact. Col de la Bonnette is closed. Ooh, wonder why. Rock fall. Rock falls. Yeah. 
And look at the snow, just the first dustings of snow on the tops of the early Alps up there. Give it a couple of weeks, it'll be well snowy. We'll have to put Elton snow tyres on. And Twiggy will need her skis. It's true. She'll need a, a wellies. A doggles. So we've caught up with the train again. Does it go over the bridge as well? No. no, I think it goes straight on. It must go over a different bridge. Going to Dean here, isn't it? Yeah. Dean Le Ban. So we now begin the climb up to Le Brock. It's been largely level so far, so we're going to do a very um, intense nine kilometers looking at the map uh, that takes us to 3,300 feet and the medieval village of Le Brock, where uh, we hope we're going to get to show you around and uh, go for a spot of lunch and then send up the old magic drone. Because it's, uh, it looks like it's a very beautiful place and um, it's a perfect day for droning. Oh, no, no, it's not a dish. I only drink fizz oh, oh, throw me a kiss. Oh. Yeah, look at that snow. Exciting. I'm looking forward to going to Snowland in Elton, don't you? Aren't you, Mr. Boo? Sounds like a great idea. With our snow tires on. Snow chains. We're gonna put chains on. Chain chain. Oh, I don't chain. like this bit over here. Too near the edge. Did you know this beautiful bit of road is known as the Rue des Fraises? Of strawberries. Strawberry road. Of strawberry fields forever. Well, yeah. But why? Are there, are there strawberries up here? I don't know if they grow them by the side of the road, but Karos is, of course, famous for its strawberries. Of course it is. But the, oh, this whole area is quite strawberry-tastic, isn't yeah. it? They're very keen on strobs. We had strobs in that restaurant the other day, didn't we? You, you did, with you? But we also, we had, I had that strawberry soup when we went to oh, that uh, strawberry Karos soup. Village. Remember that? We do live. But Le Brock is famous for... I don't know, Brockant. Nope. Jeremy Brock, the creator of Casualty. Nope. Uh, Bro Brock Trees. Brock and Trees. No, it's, fam it's famous for, <laughs> for chestnuts. Oh, chestnuts. It that is, old chestnut. It is chestnut season here, and lots of the villagers have chestnut festivals. We went to one uh, last year. It was a hugely popular video. We're still waiting for our first view. Um, <laughs> no. Um, but if we if we find another chestnut festival, we may be masochistic enough to go again. Yeah. Because we rather enjoyed it, but it it obviously wasn't top of people's agenda when they were surfing the World Wide Web, chestnuts. But I often talk about this fact, and then it gets cut from the videos because I decide that even talking about it is uninteresting. But maybe today, maybe this will survive the final cut. love these sort of autumn days, don't you? They're my favourite. What's, what's fantastic down here in sort of October, November into December is, you know, the crowds have largely gone. Now, you're not guaranteed weather like this every day, but actually most of this week looks set fair like this. Uh, and it's just fantastic. You get the best of the weather. It's not too hot. You get sunlight um, and space, the final frontier. I used to pretend to be on the Starship Enterprise when I was a kid in my dad's armchair. And I used to rock about like this, like they were having a sort of turbulence or a crash, you know, and, when, and, it was, and I'd, I'd act out that it was crashing. Um, I think that's how I lost one of the casters on it. Do you remember when chairs had casters, beds had casters? Your goat. My goat had a caster. I had a goat called Jessie and she only had three legs. I may have told you this story before, stop me if I have. Um, and she, she had her leg bitten off in a vicious Alsatian attack. And then when my granddad died, he, we inherited his bed, uh, but we didn't really want his bed, so we chopped the leg off the bed, which had a caster on. 
and we, mm. we attached it to the goat's stump and she uh, she careered around the pub car park. It's absolutely true. Uh, she was very famous, our goat, in, in Dewsbury. I like goats. Do you? I love goats. Meh. They're very smelly, though, and they eat anything. But that's a good thing. Ours used to eat crisp packets. Salt them in your crisp packet. Maybe. Maybe it was the ghost. Maybe Not. the goat was a ghost who used to steal the salt and vinegar crisps. Oh, it's all beginning to make sense now. That's the thing with getting older. You start to piece everything together. Your life starts to make sense. Bit by bit, the fragments come together mm. into a whole... Well, that's where you end up, a whole. Unless you don't go for that kind of death. You know, you have a, you get burned. Hmm. A mistake. Anyway, we won't go there on that, because it, it, it's too depressing on a nice day like this. We don't want mortality creeping in. Beautiful. What is this? There's berries. Mm. Don't know, we've got some in our garden. Really? Yeah. Lovely. Like a little... They're not poison ivy tillsley, are they? Remember ivy tillsley? I do. Do you remember she got sacked from Corrie for having a lit job? And I once, I once met her, you know. I was on a train just outside Doncaster. Um, she was with her uh, brother, the comedian, Dougie Brown. And, well, they were tucking into the miniatures, because I think it's safe to say Lynn Perry liked to drink, didn't she? Um, and uh, and she, you know, she had that terrible lip job. Mm. Like this. Like they do. Mm. And, uh, uh, and, and she, I, I think I tried to persuade her to be in a play of mine. It didn't work. I gave her a script, and she... And she it was subsequently three months later I got... I got a phone call from Lost Property at King's Cross and they'd recovered the script along with Lim Perry's handbag. But they didn't know it was Lim Perry's handbag. The only name and address on it was me because it was on one of my scripts. And so they wanted to know if I, if I was the owner of, of Lim Perry's handbag. That could be the title of my autobiography. I was the owner of Lim Perry's handbag. I think we've got Lynn Perry's autobiography. I have, I have, I have. I was a big fan. She was a wonderful actress when she was younger. But the lips didn't help. Still, we all make mistakes in life, don't we? <laughs> oh, you've got to, you know, you've got to move on. Yeah, but is that the village? Is that Labrock? Yeah, I'm now seeing Labrock for the wow, first time. Wow, fantastic. This could be a brilliant place to drone from somewhere here. Keep your eye out, out for somewhere. Oh. oh, there is some crazy driving going on up here. Well, we're going to make it, I think, safe to say, because we're entering La Brock. I should check to see where, where the charger, charger is, is, yeah. Not much reception up here. Isn't there? So, let's see if we can drive through this village to the charger. Look at this little man. It must be for the school to tell you to slow down. Look, there's children crossing. Yeah, see. Arthur, that's Arthur, that. Dudley Moore. It's about his size, isn't it? Quite a good likeness, really. Is he dead, Dudley Moore? No, you're thinking of uh, Peter Sarsford. Arthur played Dudley. Dudley Moore played Arthur. Look at this nicely, didn't he? He did. Arthur Scargill, he's still alive. Or is he? I can't remember. No, he's dead. There's I that grumpy man again. I don't think he's a nice butcher's in there. Oh, yeah, grumpy man. Grumpy man behind us. Oh, look, this is, uh, this is rather cute, That's isn't it? That's a nice little fountain. No, it's not the, the fountain. The fountain is up ahead of us. Here's but... the fountain. Look at this. Now, how central casting is this French village, folks? Drive in, there's the tobacco. And <laughs> there's the village fountain. Insert and, hello, hello music here. <laughs> and look at this uh, e-bike here. That's cool, Mr. Boo. That's look at that. Chic. That is very chic. I love that. That's well cool. Can we go down here? Yeah. We can't go down there, can we? No, but it says you can go down there. Or up there? No. 
No, I'm just down this here. This is the bar. Wow, well, it's been a while since we've been on a narrow, narrow back passage. Wow, this is quite tight. This is a bit like Oda Canya, but doesn't it have an Italian feel? It's that thing, mm. you know, some of these villages feel very French. This feels more Italian to me. It's very lovely, and they've just resurfaced it. Just for us. Just for us. Very nice of them. Look at this building up there, it's wonderful. So there's up to the Mary. A church. Always oh, a church. Yeah, the church. Look. Can you go there? No. You, you can't go into there? No. Is that what it says? Pions yeah. droit, what does that mean? People who have right. Usually Mary people are... Um, Oh, wow, look at this. Down here, look at this view. I hope there's nothing coming the other way. Is it two-way? No, I don't think so. Is it? It is. Two-way? Yeah, so be careful. <laughs> wow, what a beautiful, beautiful village. It's so quiet. Oh, here it's two-way. Here's a, just to prove it. Um, oh, look at the emergency alarm system. That, that must be if there's fires or rock falls, don't you think? Well, rock falls and seismic activity. Seismic activity? Yeah. I was going to say, or maybe it's just to do the announcements at the Chestnut Festival. Look at that view with the snow up there. That's beautiful. Really stunning. I do think, folks, we're going to see some fantastic stuff over the next few weeks when the... because these mountains will get increasingly snowy. Uh, and if we can get out and up here, we'll get to see some stuff. Is that a car behind us? No. No, just a reflection. So we think the charger is up here past the Epicerie du Broc. Is it still open, the Epicerie? Yeah, it could be. Just not today. Wow. I love driving through these. Aren't we back to the fountain now? All all roads lead to the village fountain, of course. Maybe we can follow him. There's a sign for Gatier and Vons. How marvellous. I want to go to that bar. Mmm. I might. Might have a pastis to be local. That's what they do. Breakfast drink. Breakfast, breakfast pastis. How very French. This is crazy, this climb. I really, really, really don't fancy this. Oh, what are you doing? He's reversing into the space there. Oh. Oh, God, come on, get out of the way. This is so steep. Has he seen it? Yeah. Get rid of the handbrake, because this is terrifying. I think you're going to go over. How? This is a car park built on the steepest thing I've ever seen in my life. When there's any ice, it must be utterly impossible to get up here. But, what a car park. Lovely little thing. You think there's a charger in here? Yeah. Here's hoping. And wishing and praying. Oh, then there is. Then maybe it's on the floor below. Oh. Old. I want to go back down that long height into this. Into is this, this is the most insane car park. Oh Ooh, la la. Oh. Please be a charger. Here. Oh, electric. Oh, yes. Oh, is it a whiz? No. Oh. It's a breeze. Prise de nice. I've never seen these pre. These are new, different prees, aren't they? These are right. Let's get Elton on charge and then let's get into the village, have a look round and go for some lunch and then send the drone up. <laughs> yes, we're on. Uh, two hours 28 to a full charge. It is cold up here. Gilletta postcard of this square. 
Gillette of course, the famous photographer who uh, in many ways made the French Riviera in terms of images because he was the one who did all the wonderful postcards that went round the world and created the myth of the French Riviera. Well, I need the loo, but um, check it out. It's, uh, it's what you'd call old school. My mother used to say these were toilets that looked like you were on a golf driving range. Well, needs must. of Dr. Caligari. Oh no, Dr. Sophrology. Sophrology, don't they make sofas? What's absolutely fantastic in these villages in winter is just how clear the air is. There's just no pollution. You can see very clearly and you can breathe. Here's the old town hall. And look down there, gorgeous. So we think we finally figured out why it's called the Brock. It's a kind of jug. A jug? A jug. Ah, uh, get your jugs out. So here on the south corner of the church, on the outside wall, is a bit of Roman uh, stone dating from the first or second century. Wow. You've no other than me, Mr. Boo. They're very proud of it in the Brock. Rural police? I've not seen that. Never seen one of those. Is the church open? No. So we've made an executive decision, having gone and visited all these restaurants, that the, the one we were going to go to, Lestrigan, it just looks a bit pricey and there's nobody in it. Um, so we're going to go for the one with the atmosphere that does something a lot more limited, just a charcuterie plate, and then maybe nip next door and get a small plate or something if we're, if we're still hungry. But let's sit at the village, village bar. So we've not got any charcuterie on the menu, but uh, there's, there's some bruschetta, so we're going to have a couple of bits of bruschetta. Activity. They're taking the tent down. I think they had an event on last night. It's taking the whole workforce of the village to get this tent down. Ooh, ooh. Luckily, Twiggy has brought her own lunch. She doesn't have to worry about bruschetta. That looks distinctly like a glass of wine, Mr. Boo. Mm. Keep us warm. What did he just say? He thought there was peppers on our thing, but it turns out it's chorizo. So, so peppers have been replaced by chorizo. Mm. It's that kind of lunch. Lovely. Do you know, this is absolutely delicious. Isn't it funny? I'd never in a million years have decided to have a bit of bruschetta for my lunch. Um, and sometimes it's better when somebody else chooses, i.e. there is no choice. It's lovely, it's hot cheese, it's really um, spicy chorizo, big portion, lovely glass of wine, fantastic location. Everything in the world is um, rosé, well, or red. So, Mr. Boo's just been looking at property prices here in, uh, where are we? <laughs> We're here in Le Brock. <laughs> Le Brock. <laughs> so, Mr. B, Mr. B, so Mr. Boo's just been looking at property prices here in LeBrock. Give us the lowdown, Mr. Boo. So, I think I've found the house of our dreams. Well, it's an apartment. Might be your dreams. Well, it's cheap, so it is your dreams. Uh, four bedrooms, plenty of room for you, Twigs. Uh, 98 square metres on the second floor. It's here in the old town, and I'm trying to work out which building, because I but I could figure it out from the pictures. 98 square meters. It is, it is 250 grand. So that's two and a half grand a square meter. Well, I was gonna say that was absolutely delicious. But it was. It was. I really enjoyed it. Uh, it I just sat there, it was so relaxing and peaceful. And that wasn't just the, the wine. Um, and the total bill, you won't quite believe it, came to 29 euro 60, and we had four glasses of wine. Um, but basically, the bruschetta was eight euros each, which is about six pounds 50, just a shot of seven pounds, incredibly good value. The coffee was a euro, and the big glasses of wine seemed to be about three euros each, and they were nice. Anyway, 
let's um, let's get back in the car and uh, just drive into the mountain there and see if we can send up the drone and uh, capture this village in this fantastic light. So I've discovered this narrow passage. <laughs> I don't know, I think this is the old uh, road to, to the next village, but I thought it might be quite good to drone from up here. I hope nobody comes the other way. Wow, look at that view over there. It could be, it could be spectacular, we just need some to park. Here. here we can turn around a few. Well, that was the magical Le Brock. If you've enjoyed this video, please give us a like, please give us a comment, please, please think about buying us a coffee, help support the channel. And remember, folks, stay charged. Bye. Bye.